Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for Equivalent Fractions Sheet 2. This is called Fraction Strips from MathSalamanders.com. MathSalamanders had tons of great resources if you want to check them out. There's a link in the description. I also have a playlist video for a lot of their content, so make sure to click on that at the end of this video also. But let's go ahead and get right into it. First, we need to kind of talk about what is a fraction. So fraction, we have two numbers here. The top number is the numerator, the bottom number is the denominator. So with a fraction, it has basically a designation of a part out of a whole. So the bottom number, the denominator, is the whole, and the top number is the part. So we have the part, and in the bottom we have the whole. Now, what does that mean? Well, I like to think of it in terms of food. Food is the easiest way to think of fractions. So if we're talking about half, as is highlighted right here, we're talking about half the candy bar. Now, if we split up into fours, we can see that we have one, two, three, fours, three, uh, four out of four parts out of the entire candy bar, which is the whole. So how many parts are there in this candy bar? Well, if we have it divide it up into these fourths, then there's four parts out of the whole. And then let's say we only eat one of them, that would be one out of four parts. But we're not doing that for this exercise. What we're doing instead is we're trying to find out what is the equivalent of these parts and wholes, okay? So we don't need this chocolate bar example anymore. We can look at this example, okay? So if we have half, okay, and if again, we could consider if we ate half the candy bar, let me get rid of this X right here. Okay, if we got rid of uh, that half of the candy bar, what would that be in terms of fourths? And you can see here that we have two fourths. So one half is the same thing as two fourths. You can divide up these units, the half, into smaller fourths. So if we have one half, it's equal to the two smaller fourths. And that's all we're doing in, the, in this exercise, okay? So what we're gonna do here is for each one of these, we're gonna look at what it's asking us and we're gonna try to find the equivalent based on what it's asking for. So the original fraction it's giving us is one half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight one half here. Okay, and actually I'm gonna make my highlighter a bit bigger. We're gonna need it, okay? So I'm gonna highlight one half and it's all of this. And if you want to put it in terms of candy bars or food, whatever you want to think of, that's fine. But what I would do next is I need a label in terms of this bottom number. That means that's out of my whole. So if I have six parts to my whole, that means each part is one six. And you can see here that I have six total pieces that make up the entire uh, rectangle or candy bar or whatever it is. So now I'm just gonna count how many I have highlighted based on I'm highlighting half. And you can see that I have one, two, three, and that means I have three six, and that is equivalent to one half. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. So I have one third here, and I wanna know how many six that is. And you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six here. That's why there's a number six, because it's divided up into six sections. So I have one six and one six. How many total six do I have? And I have two total six. Going over to one fourth. He can divide one fourth up. Okay, just like we divided one half up into fourths, we can divide one fourth even further. You can always divide it into smaller pieces. And here, these are gonna be eighths as indicated by it being divided up into eight sections, eight parts to the whole. But we're only talking about two of those parts. So two out of the eight total. Over here, one fifth. Okay, you can even divide up fifths further. And these are gonna be tenths, because there's 10 of them. You can count these up, one through 10. There's only, oh, that's one tenth. That's one tenth. In total, we have two tenths. I hope you're seeing a pattern here, and I'm gonna talk about that briefly before we get into our next section. So here's the six. Now, as you can see, we divide that up into two pieces per six. Okay, that's what we've been doing uh, almost this whole time, except for this first one. We divide it up into three pieces for each bigger component. This one, like most of them, are two pieces for each component, and these are gonna be twelfths. So one twelfth, one twelfth, that's a total of two twelfths. Now, what's the pattern that you see? Okay, we're gonna use this pattern for the bottom section. Notice here that 
like I said, for uh, three through six, we went from three and we doubled that. Okay, so from three pieces out of the whole, we doubled it to six. We split each in two. So if we do that to the bottom number, the denominator, we also need to do that to the numerator. So we multiply the numerator times two and that's how we got that two there. That works for each one of these. If you go from four to eight, what did you do? You multiply it by two. So you also need to do the same thing to the bottom to keep it equivalent, okay? That's what it's talking about. We need to keep these equivalent so we multiply the bottom and the top by the same number. This uh, number two was a little bit different. Notice how we're not multiplying by two. Each one was not divided up into two pieces each. That's what we did with this one. Okay, one half was divided up into two pieces each to make force. This one's different though. We divided it up into three pieces. So what do we do? We multiplied it by three. From two components, we multiplied it by three to get six components out of the whole. But we also need to do that to the top. So one times three, we got three. So three over six was equivalent to one half. That works for each one of these. And now we're gonna go into this section and we're gonna apply that same principle. So we could either make fraction strips, okay? And then divide it up based on, and Mass Manders has these uh, printouts if you wanna use them, very useful. But I'm just, for the sake of uh, time, I'm just gonna show how you might do it and then kind of show the shortcut. So if we have two pieces, okay? out of the whole, and we want to split up into four, that means we would divide each one by two. Now we have one, two, three, four. And if we're highlighting in two out of the two halves, so there was one half, there's two halves. How many fourths is that? Well, it's one, two, three, four out of the four highlighted, okay? Now, the shortcut, what do we multiply two by to get to four? We multiplied it by two. We split each one into two, but we also have to do the same thing at the top, and that's how we get our numerator. Let's see a blank slate one, number eight. What do we multiply by four to get to eight to make it equivalent? Well, we want to multiply it by two. If we multiply the bottom by two, we also have to multiply the top. So we multiply it by two and we get six. This works for all of these, okay? And it looks like most of them are times two. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Times two and we get four. Two times two is four. Four, six is equivalent to two thirds. Multiply by two here. Multiply by two here, it's split up into two parts, so we double uh, the number of components, and we have four out of 10 right there, and I think all of these rest are two. So we're gonna multiply by two here, multiply by two here, and we get six out of six, multiply by two, multiply by two, we get eight out of 12 is the same, is equivalent to four out of six, and we multiply by two, and we multiply by two, and we get eight out of 10, and it's, one thing that's useful about this is let's say you have five people and then all of a sudden more people show up and you're like, hey, I need to split this up equally. How much should I split it up by? Well, you can figure out how to do that based on equivalent fractions, okay? So that's one thing that's useful about this. So we multiply it by two and we multiply it by two and we get 10 out of 12. So there you have it. Um, that's equivalent fractions and math sound matters. If you have any questions on this worksheet, let me know in a comment, or if you have any other questions on any other Mass Salamanders worksheet, also leave a comment. Either way, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.